サイル発射北朝鮮からミサイルが発射された模様です頑丈な建物や地下に避難してください6 a.m. in the morning, it's rudely awoken by my phone going in and in and in and in and vibrating and going mental. And then there was a, an air raid, this air raid siren going on outside for a missile from North Korea. I don't know if it's real or not, but it's not a very nice way to wake up in the morning.、Uh, but what I do know is this area, I'm currently in Aomori on the Sea of Japan coastline, and、uh, I, I think last year a missile splashed down in the sea、uh, off the coastline. Maybe I think about 100 kilometers out to sea. And then there was another missile not that long ago that crash landed、uh, just off the coast of Hokkaido, about another 100 kilometers that way. So, in this remote, far flung region of Japan, the only thing the locals have to worry about normally are the bears. And now, on top of the bears, they've got North Korean missiles. It's a bit unfortunate. I've come here to hike through a forest, and while I was prepared to accept the, the danger of the bears, the, the missiles certainly add. Uh, another element to that missiles and bears. That is what the people here have to worry about now. Albeit not together, that would be quite unlikely,、um, but, but also terrible. I'm in bed, just went back to sleep. Phone went off, a little, phone went off again, alarm went off again. Now I'm really angry. The emergency alert said the missile flew overhead, though. So I better look that up. For fuck's sake, I was just woken up a third time, this time by the television switching itself on to report about the missile news. I didn't even know TVs could switch themselves on in Japan like that in emergencies. Probably makes sense, but it's <laughs> so annoying, and now I've got to get out of bed and switch the TV off, for fuck's sake. This is what annoys me about all the people who go to North Korea on holiday because it's so different and unique seeing a culture that's so weird and strange like the 1960s. Fuck off. Like every time you go to North Korea, you're funding a regime that butchers its own people, that has hundreds of thousands of people locked away in concentration camps and fires missiles just stupidly and randomly at 6 a.m. in the morning. If you go to North Korea, you're a fucking idiot. Don't go. And now I'm going to go to sleep and I'm really angry. But.